Sorry, we're going over to Richard Southern. We're talking about uh, Alexa again, and I was thinking more about this story, and it, it scares me even more because we know they're always listening. Yeah. I mean, even you talk to your iPhone now, Siri, right? Yeah. And there's these digital assistants everywhere. There was a poll mail out that found 40% of Canadians use one of these digital assistants regularly in some form or another. That's why the story is indeed so crazy and creepy. An Amazon Alexa device apparently spied on someone. There was a couple in Portland, Oregon, man and wife. They were having a conversation in their home. Little did they know, the Echo recorded that conversation without them knowing and sent it to a friend of theirs. The friend called them up and said, hey, what's this all about? Amazon responding to this this morning out with this long, uh, rambling explanation about how they think this happened. They said uh, the Echo heard a random series of noises. The last line is interesting. It says, as unlikely as this string of events is, we're evaluating options to make this case even less likely. So Amazon saying, this still could happen going forward. We'll keep an eye on Amazon stock. It's above $1,600 U.S. It has been a high flyer. We'll see if this story moves the stock. Meantime, Canada's largest cannabis company in the spotlight this morning, Canopy Growth, had a chance to talk to its founder and CEO, Bruce Linton. He tells me he's expecting cannabis from this company to disrupt the medical industry. He thinks people will use it for pain instead of opioids and for sleep instead of current sleep medication. Bruce Linton also tells me his company is working right now on pot for dogs and cats. Yeah, you know, dogs and cats respond well to it. And think about it. If you have a, an old dog and maybe they have reduced mobility, uh, you know, they have diminished appetite, they have anxiety, and you can in, make them enjoy the final year or two of life better with a cannabinoid uh, option. Growth. Just People listing its stock on the New York Stock Exchange that was the first day of trading yesterday. Didn't go so well. The stock fell more than 6% in that first day on Wall Street. Meantime, a crazy story involving McDonald's. Uh, a McDonald's customer suing the Golden Arches for $5 million over unwanted cheese on his quarter pounder. Yes, a customer argues the uh, hamburgers and cheeseburgers are priced differently on the menu, but when you order a quarter pounder with the cheese, you're st without the cheese, you're still paid uh, as charged for it. The lawsuit claims the plaintiff has, quote, suffered injury as a result of the purchase because they were overcharged. And uh, U.S. stock futures are moving higher today. The price of oil drops more than a dollar on the worry that OPEC might increase production. So that's what's going on on the market.